Good morning, everyone. Um, hope everyone's having a good Sunday morning. We just uh, were at a cancer um, event at the University of Hawaii Cancer Center, and now back to work. And we got a great question here from Sophia. She's looking um, looking at some folks on Farcast or a building like Quilibrium. I, gotta, I don't know what that is. got to look it up. Or the scroll or even Ethereum. Could they be a replacement for the current structure of the web anytime soon? Well, I can address the middle one, the scroll. And my answer is a resounding yes. <laughs> um, now... Anytime soon, I would say by the end of next year, so what's that, 2025, I bet the majority of my time on the internet will not be on what we know today is the web, it will be on the scroll. Now I'm an early adopter, so I'll be way ahead of the curve. So maybe in five years, maybe 2030, the average person will spend more time on the scroll than they will on the web and that's a great thing because time on the scroll is is ad free it's really the scroll is meant to give you back your time it's um better information more trustworthy information um but let's let's not talk in rhetoric let's talk technical details and why why this is going to be the case um so Let's take a look, what is the scroll right now? And right now, it doesn't look pretty. You're gonna be like, this stupid thing, I have to open up the terminal and type in WWS, this worldwide scroll, instead of WWW. And I get this like command line thing, and to open it up, I have to type WWS open, all right? So, so here's the scroll on my machine, my copy of the scroll. And um, um, you know what I should do? Oh, I've got a new idea. Um, I'm gonna change the open command. Watch this. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna improve the scroll right now. I want the, the open command to do two things. I don't know if this will work, but we'll, we'll try it. Um, open command. Let's um, CD WWS. Now, I don't know if this will work. Let's just see. WWS open. Nah, it doesn't. It doesn't change. So, so what I want to do, I don't know if, if there's a way we could get um, slash Mr. Chat GPT. Is there a way I can build a Node.js CLI script that changes? spawn yet okay we can't do what we want to do that's fine um, so what basically what I wanted to do is as much as I love Zombo I don't really want Zombo always on my machine um, so So, so basically, I have got every scroll site in existence now. I have Wi-Find, I have Builder News, I have Zombo, I have PLTV, I have Breck, and I have Scroll. Oh, Wi-Find's not working. Why not? File not found. Why isn't... Oh. Open street map. I'm, I think I'm still relying on a CDN. I need to fix that. So anyway, as you can see, the worldwide scroll experience sucks today. It sucks. But if we if we hide that, 
we hide the annoying animated Zombo, you, got, you start to see a couple things. What are these? These are fully working websites locally that don't require an internet. I could turn the internet off right now, but I've been recording all evening, so I don't want to do that. But, I mean, look, I can, look how fast this is, because this is all just reading off my disk. And it's not just doing, um, like, I, I can do data science stuff here. Um, it's, this isn't just static text I'm reading. You can have full-on apps. Now, of course, can you, can you write on these apps? You could write to local storage, but can you write to that net? You could, but, but then, of course, if you're offline, you're going to have to sync later. So you're still going to want to have, to get back to the question, you're still going to want to have a lot of the capabilities of the web, posting data, but, but that doesn't necessarily have to go over HTTP. It can go all over Git. Um, yeah, so we could replace the whole web. I mean, let's be real. Like, there's no reason any of it. Like, that's not my goal. Like, I love the web. I'm not trying to replace the web. I, I'm not. But I'm trying to build what, what nature wants, what's the most efficient, what's the best for, for human beings, um, what saves people the most time, because everyone's time is precious. And we shouldn't be wasting it if we, can, if we know ways to not waste it um, and and people should be given equal opportunity and they should have we shouldn't be wasting it and misleading them with ads and copyright and all that stuff we should be you know it's taken us hundreds of thousands of years as a species to get to this point in history and everybody everybody's chain of ancestors is equally long and if you don't, if you don't know what I mean by that look up humans little short story I wrote um, you know, like, here's you, here's me, and if we counted, you know, all my, my father, my grandfather, my great-great-grandfathers, and if you went all back, you and me were all cousins, and, and so, as a tribute to all the people that have come before us, in your lineage and in mine, we should build this thing where we take all this amazing information that humanity has collectively built across the world, across all continents, and every person should get their own copy of that. And every child, no matter if you're born rich or born poor, look, we can't give everyone a Lamborghini. The, you know, there's, the universe is scarce for sure, but we can give everybody a copy of every book. We can give everyone a copy of every movie. There, there's no reason, um, we can't, it's funny, it's like we are going against physics with copyright and patent laws. Like, the universe doesn't want it. It's not helping at all. And it's, it's, it's not only slowing us down, preventing us from going to the stars, but it's, it's cruel. It's cruel to poor kids. Poor kids in cities like, that I grew up in, in Brockton, Massachusetts. Like, it's, it's cruel to those people. It's cruel to people in poor countries. It's just like, it's just not the way information should be treated. It's not the way people should be treated. And so anyway, sorry, sorry to go on a tangent, but, but um, so, so here's what we got so far. We've got, we've got some jokes. We've got some work to do, but each one of these is a folder, right? So, so if I go into, I can, I can show you, um, WS, WWS, change into here. And now let's just open this up, okay? Here is my copy of the worldwide scroll. We see Zombo, okay? We see some scroll files. We see Wi-Finder. We see a uh, scroll. We see PLDB. We see Builder News. We see my blog. And these are just, you know, we've got... So these are the built files. These ones are not written by hand. And these are the ones that are written by hand. They were written in scroll. And so, like... You know, PLDB, we write this file in scroll, all right, which is, this is kind of a more complicated site, but let's look at Builder News. Very simple site. Here's the home page, and I can even get rid of this in my container. We've simplified that. We can get rid of this. Um, 
And um, this is the homepage for Builder News. 35 lines of code. Runs news.pub. So it compiles to the web, and it's, it's a, a website too, but but it works on my local, ma on my local machine. Um, you know, I can use this locally. So now, of course, we still have some work to do on videos and stuff. Um, but, um, you know, I can click around. So, so once I've got my copy, and then I can update everything. I just do WWS fetch, and that'll go ahead and update all of my sites. This is updating my scroll, and it's, it's a little slower than I like, but there's a lot of things we can still do to make it faster. So in the future, instead of the web, I might have a thousand folders on my local machine, and it might be my favorite music sites, my favorite, I might have a copy of Wikipedia, I'll have, um, I'll have sites about movies, you know, there's going to be an IMDB version on the scroll, I'm going to have maps, I'm going to have books, I'm going to have every great book ever written will be on my machine, and, um, and then once I, and then, and then not only do you get to use those sites individually, but you can do mixes. So like this, this thing right here, this is just real simple, but this is mixing. This is building a news feed uh, of um, all of these different sites that I have on my machine. So this story is coming from Scroll, this one's coming from PLDB, this one's coming from my blog. And I can click in and just and read them as if they were all in one site. And the same thing for data science, you could combine data from various sites into one. So there's so many things that this is gonna open up. And this all happens locally on my local machine, so it's gonna be so powerful. Um, and again, I don't, I don't hate the web at all. It's just we can do so much more. We've, we've, we've fixed three things here, um, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly what we fixed. We'll just go to my log on my local copy of the scroll, and the first thing we fixed is we fixed the language. So we have one remarkably simple language that's incredibly powerful and this this formula explains why it's so powerful um, and that scroll part and then particles and parsers then we have um, this formula which is talks about intelligence and it talks about so we, we try to aim to have the most intelligent information on the scroll um, and you know my blog is not the most intelligent blog but PLDB is extremely intelligent information it explains so much of the programming language world in so few bytes. I think the whole thing is about seven megabytes of CSV, and that just tells you all so much about the programming language universe, covers coverage. Um, so very high intelligence score. And then the third formula is, is about evolution. And um, it's the fact that we recognize that copyright really slows down evolution and, and makes things toxic. The web is just full of toxicity, negative energy, advertising, false news, misinformation, just things that are not backed by data, things that aren't backed by source code. Um, and, and so we've gotten rid of that. And, then, and this formula explains why that not only is the right thing to do, but it's far superior. Like our, our stuff is going to be just so much better than the stuff on the web. And it's because of, it's not, we didn't make the rules. These are, these are natural rules. We just discovered, we discovered this rule. And, um, this is about you know the time it takes to test an idea divided by the factorial of all the possible ideas. And so basically, copyright just slows evolution time of ideas down dramatically with, to horrible effect. And anyway, so just to go back to the question, sorry, this is a real long-winded answer. Yes, yes, so now, so next year, you know, I got six sites now, next year. So two people have just bought sites. They're about to go live, um, still working on them. And um, bought folders, I should say, folder names on the root. And there's plenty more people that have expressed interest. They still just don't quite understand it. But soon the floodgates are gonna open. And I think by this time next year, we're gonna have many, many thousands of sites, many, many thousands of folders. And I personally will probably subscribe to about a thousand and I'll have those on my local machine. And I'm not going to be using it on the command line. There's gonna be a worldwide scroll app with beautiful GUI and you're just gonna click and it's gonna be fun to use and simple. 
and it's going to be beautiful. But that's about a year away. I mean, to get to that point, you know, I mean, it could be a lot quicker. Various aspects of that could be a little bit later. But um, yeah, the math is clear. This is going to work. Now, I, are there things I don't know about that could um, disrupt that? For sure. That's always a risk. There's always the f predictions are hard to make, especially about the future, as Yogi Berra would say. And um, I can't guarantee, make any guarantees, but um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just we got to keep spreading the word, spreading the good news. There's this new thing coming. It's called the scroll. And um, it's going to be great. It's public domain. And you can try it now. It's uh, still technical, but uh, it'll, be, it'll get great. Thank you so much for the question. Thank you for the support. And uh, cheers. Happy Sunday, everyone.